Hi everyone, Mike here at Bikes by Mike for another cycling related video. Today I'm talking about this. You may recall that on January 25th, I reviewed the Wahoo Kicker bike and talked about my top three likes and dislikes with that bike. So overall, I really liked the bike and gave it a solid thumbs up. I did list my top three dislikes with the bike, but there was only one in particular that I found really significant and a major pet peeve for me. And that was related to one part of the bike frame and this piece here, which is the linear actuator. And what I find is that on really hard efforts where I'm out of the saddle and rocking the bike back and forth, that part of the frame would make a clanging or, or metal on metal contact sound. And it was due to some movement in that piece of the bike frame. So I wasn't terribly surprised when I encountered this issue because even before I bought the bike, I read reviews and I know that others had encountered the same issue. So it's still a major irritant for me. So I contacted Wahoo USA who put me in contact with the Canadian distributor who actually provided some really good service and responded immediately explaining the issue and talked about what I should do. So Wahoo's official statement is two things. One, that the sound I'm hearing is part of the inherent design of the bike and that it's not abnormal. And they suggested that to solve the issue, I should lubricate the linear actuator with uh, polylube, a heavy grease, and that should correct the problem. So I've tried the greasing trick three times. And on the first two occasions, I applied it as they directed it. And it did solve the problem temporarily, but after about two to four rides, the sound came back as loud as it was before. So on the third attempt, I essentially did the same thing. I raised the linear actuator to its utmost or highest position and made a real effort to apply more lube and more lube, especially to those areas that were hidden. So using a Q-tip or paintbrush, you can push the grease into the hidden parts of the frame. Unfortunately, that linear actuator isn't able to be fully extended or removed from the bike. So you have to do your best to, to really kind of get into the nicks and cranny of the frame and kind of push the lube in as much as possible. And I think that's the key is to provide enough grease so that there's a real physical barrier between the two parts of the frame that are causing the noise. And also to get into those parts that uh, are, are hidden that uh, may also be causing the noise to sound. So I'm happy to say that after about five or six weeks, the grease is still holding up. There's absolutely no sound, and um, I'm pretty sure that was the issue. And even if it does return, I'll just go back, spend five or 10 minutes, reapply grease, and I'm sure it'll solve the problem. Wahoo suggested using a poly lube, but essentially if you use any bike-specific multi-purpose grease, it's gonna work. But do use the proper type of grease. So don't use assembly compound or anti-seize. Don't use chain lube or WD-40. Don't use carbon paste. Use a proper multi-purpose synthetic grease and it's gonna work just fine. So here are the greases that I've used in the past and they all work very well. There's tons on the market. Like I say, almost any multi-purpose grease is gonna work just fine. Finish line premium grease with Teflon. Park Tool Poly Lube 1000 grease. Pedro's grease. Shimano bearing grease. And a grease that I have not yet tried, but I will because it recently appeared on Hambini's February 23rd, 2022 video is Mobile SHC grease. So that's basically it to solving this issue. If you're encountering the same problem I did, basically two things you gotta remember, apply enough grease and use a proper grease. If you do that, the sound's gonna go away, it's gonna be perfectly quiet, and unlikely you're gonna to have to reapply grease anytime in the near future. So what do I think of the bike today? Well, originally I gave it a thumbs up, and now the only major pet peeve I have is solved, so I give it two major thumbs up. I love this bike, I have no complaints. It's done me well now for uh, well over a year, and there's really nothing major about it I would change. That's all I got for today, folks. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. 
If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe as it allows me to produce more content like this for all of you. Happy rolling.